G'day everyone. They say you are what you eat. And I reckon it's true because yesterday I bought a ready to eat chicken salad. And sure enough, I was ready to eat chicken salad. <laughs> hey Robbie, you've got mail. You better check your mailbox. Okay Robbie, thanks mate. What's the address? Post office box 3006. Yoranga LPO. Wangaratta 3677. Okay, thanks buddy. I'll go and check it right now. Robbie Alexander, Post Office Box, blah 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 blah, from HTR Fishing Supplies, Post Office Box 7060, Wagga Wagga, New South Wales 2650. Actually opened this one the other day. I didn't realise there was anything in it. I thought it was just like a letter. But there actually is something really small. And it is a, I'll just untape it. Broke half the letter in half. It's a leader. It's a fancy, looks like a braided leader. FTR furled, no oh sorry, HTR furled leaders. HTR fishing supplies at hotmail.com. Let's read this letter. This is from Ian Barber, post office box 7060 Wagga Wagga, New South Wales 2650. Robbie, please find, please find attached I still haven't got it right. Robbie, please find enclosed a tapered furled leader. I have just watched your fly fishing video on YouTube. I have been making and selling these on eBay for a couple of years. I started making them after seeing an article about the pros and cons of furled leaders. I fish, like yourself, a lot of small creek streams and I have found that using TFL more effective than... I think it says... Mono leaders. I get the impression, just going by the handwriting, that Ian's not a school kid. <laughs> the leader enclosed is suitable for four to six weight, and I have found I found that I can go even lighter than six. If I use six and a half foot three weight and nine foot four weight, all you need to do is add approximately three foot tippet. I have already coated it in floatant. Look forward to your comments and feedback. So basically it's a, a furled leader for a, uh, a small to medium sized fly rod. Wow, look at that. I'm not going to unwind it now. You know what Ian? I actually need a new leader. When I was fishing the other day I ran out of leader line. So I'm going to use this. Oh cool, it's even got a tiny wendy little clip on the end of it, like a toe point from the entire foot or so of monofilament line on the end of it, or a couple of feet of monofilament line. So I've got this for, for a tippet. Ah, a furled leader. HTR furled leaders, handmade in Wagga Wagga, New South Wales. HTR fishing supplies at hotmail.com. A furled leader. And I might not get to use it for a little while because the streams are getting really warm around here. I am absolutely flat out at the moment and I'm finding it time, finding it difficult to find time to get away from Wangaratta and travel to any sort of fishing destinations. Now that the cod season's open, I can go cod fishing because it's five minutes from home. But I am, I haven't given up. I'm still going to be going fly fishing. It's just a matter of when. So sit tight because as soon as I can, I'm going to put this furled leader on and I'm going to give it a crack and I'm going to let you know exactly what I think about it. That is really awesome. Thank you very much, Ian. So anybody wanting a furled leader, let's give Ian a plug. Anybody wanting a furled leader, email Supplies at hotmail.com. Righto, folks, I hope you've enjoyed this mail time segment. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that like button and the subscribe button and the little bell icon next to subscribe so that you get a notification each time I upload a new video.